live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, right off the strip. A massive sports weekend here, Pac-10 football championship. The Raiders are in town, the national finals rodeo, and we've got a world championship fight. Devin Haney putting his WBC lightweight title on the line against Jojo Diaz. You see the discrepancy. Haney two inches taller and look at that eight inch reach advantage. Can he use it to his advantage? We go 12 rounds. This arena just came alive. They are buzzing. There's Jojo Diaz who said, I hope Haney wants to trade with me. I can take his power, but he cannot take mine. And Devin Haney saying, listen, I know Jojo better than he knows himself. I will break him down piece by piece. Here we go. 12 rounds for the WBC lightweight title. This crowd taking no prisoners, already booing these guys. Straight right hand lands for Devin. There's a right, partially blocked. Seven-inch reach advantage for the Dream. Notice how Devin Haney keeps stepping over the right foot of Jojo Diaz, controlling the footwork and the foot position. Very smart on Haney's part. A dominating round one for Devin Haney here in Las Vegas. Look for Devin Haney to start punching around the guard of Jojo Diaz. Jojo has that right, the guard's right up, but go around with hooks, left and right hooks, if you're Haney. Sergeant, really impressed with the footwork so far of Devin Haney. He told me in the locker room he has fought a southpaw before, just once, but he's keeping that left foot around the foot of Jojo Diaz, which is giving us leverage on these shots. At any time his left foot is in the inside of Diaz, he puts it around. That's educated footwork. Jojo Diaz's only loss came against Gary Russell Jr. at featherweight back in May of 2018. A nice check hook by Haney on the inside. They exchange hooks. Haney got the better of it with the left hook. There's a right hand that grazes Haney. Diaz, a two-time national champion in the amateurs. Yeah, maybe one of his better punches of the night. Good body shot again from Haney. I love the attitude of Diaz after that round. I don't think he won that round. One thing he said, he can't hurt me. Well, we saw the Tiafimo Lopez fight. His father kept saying, you're winning these rounds. And Diaz Jr. said, I won that round, right? No one told him he didn't win that round. Chris, did he win that round? No, I don't think he won that round. I've got a two rounds to done in favor of Devin Haney. A better round for Jojo Diaz. They landed a pretty good left hand towards the end of it, but Devin Haney landed the cleaner shots. Ooh, that was a shot after he was told to stop punching from Haney. Just like that. Nice uppercut from the dream. One thing I love about Devin Haney's game is that for such a young fighter, he has got great punch placement. We saw that in the fight against Linares. He rarely throws at the same spot twice. There's that uppercut. He landed it a handful of times this time, but he's not staying in there long enough for Diaz to land anything back. So he punches, gets out, and shifts. That's what Haney's so good at. Oh, good good shot. body shot with the left hand from Jojo Diaz. That's exactly where Diaz wants to be, in the midsection of Devin Haney to slow him down. This is a good spell here for the challenger. I like what Jojo's doing here. He's aiming straight for the body, getting rough, getting physical. All you're going to get is a warning out of that. Hey, remember, Diaz is not afraid of the rough stuff. Had a point taken away early in the fight against Javier Fortuna. Still won by 
decision. Look, JoJo's already said his mark in round second, with the second round, the third round. He probably didn't win him, but he's already getting closer and landing. That's a good run for Diaz. Oh, big left hand for Diaz. Best punch in the fight. Sergio told us Diaz will come alive after three rounds. That appears to be the case here in the fourth. If I were fighting Devin Haney, that's exactly what I would do. Just get the tempo, get the rhythm, break them down. Then you start applying the pressure. Caught him again. Look at Diaz being the boss here in the fourth. And this is the fight JoJo Diaz wants, and that's what we expected. Stop, stop. Knuckle, knuckle. Diaz had success backing up Haney, getting him close to the ropes, and going straight to the body on both sides, right and left side. Haney felt those. I want to see more of that from JoJo Diaz. And look, that's what you want to do whenever you have a fighter trying to hold on. You bang away with the free hand. That's what Diaz is doing. That's a veteran move by JoJo Diaz. Let's look at Chris Mannix's scorecard through four. Yeah, I've got a three rounds to one in favor of Devin Haney. But he might have done, as you see JoJo flooring in the corner. A straight left hand bent Haney, and then he came around the guard. Love the body shots. Keep on with the body shots of your Diaz. Haney, or rather Diaz, told us, listen, I'm not afraid of Haney's power at all. I want to eat two to land one. And Sergio, you called that in the last round. Haney started to go around that guard of Diaz, landing those shots. And that's what you do whenever you, you're dealing with a fighter with that peekaboo defense. You go around the guard, be content hitting gloves. These are points being piled up by Devin Haney. Little catch and shoot from Devin Haney. And JoJo cutting off the ring nicely right there. Keeping Haney against the ropes. Shots, heavy artillery coming from Devin Haney to the body. Both of them looking for the exact same shots, only Haney's punches are a little longer and they're a little cleaner to see. Jojo. Now, Jojo's not a big puncher, but that landed right on the bullseye. And it's Haney's corner yelling for him to let his hands go. Well, I don't know if he needs to let his hands go, but he does need to keep sticking stop, stop, that jab stop, stop, up. He had a lot of success in the early it. rounds. With one, two, three jabs and throwing right hands right behind it, just like that shot right there. Nice stick and move from Haney. Stick and move and get out of the way. shot again that overhand left and now he's looking for right hooks that's where he launched it didn't hit it clean here's where diaz wants him he's got him in the corner is he gonna unload diaz needs to be mindful of that right uppercut but still he needs to throw caution in the wind that's what he needs to do 
much anywhere and ever. Oh, and nice shot there from Haney. Good round from Diaz, though. A lot of activity from him. And that forces JoJo backwards. And this might be the moment for Devin Haney. He's splitting the guard. And then finally JoJo fires back and he caught Haney in the line of fire. Best round of the fight. I think Diaz rocked him with that right hook. Oh, and he caught him again. again. Caught him with the right. Jojo Diaz needed a big round, and he just got one. This is where they want him to unload. He's got Haney back in the corner, and that's what he's doing. He's still aiming at Watch that body. Hands. Watch your hands. Okay, stop, stop. Let go, let go. Diaz has had moments, but he needs more of them. Oh, big shot by Haney right on the body. Big left took by Haney. <laughs> it really was. Oh, wow. Man, Diaz is one tough customer. Yes, he is. Jojo. Jojo had success in that round. So did Haney Ladies in those three shots. This is the 12th and final round. Come on, clean round, guys. Clean round. So here we go. Three minutes left. Diaz needs something big. And you can see right away, Diaz understands that. He knows he needs a knockout to win. Changed a little bit. Haney was in control, getting the distance behind the jab, fighting in spurts. Jojo kept coming forward. All right, David Diamante has our scorecards. This is the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at the NTF Grand Garden Arena, we go to the judges' scorecards. 
Dave Moretti and Max DeLuca, 117-111. Tim Cheatham, 116-112. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC lightweight champion of the world, Devin the Dream Haney.